This question that I got via email asks whether or not EFT can bring relief to traumatic brain injury, or TBI as it's commonly, commonly called. Uh, the answer is yes. As you will see, the same process is used for all injuries, brain related or otherwise. Now I know this idea of one ultimate remedy for everything is clearly outside of conventional thinking. But that's why it becomes part of our new think fascinations and should get your active attention. Let's now explore a real life example with Sally. Now, Sally had a serious blow to the head due to an automobile accident. And for nearly a decade, she had to walk with a cane because of her balance problems. She, of course, had traveled the conventional healing routes, but as you will see in this next video clip, her balance problems, as well as overwhelm in certain circumstances, remained. We had you walk up a, up and down the hall, and there was a pattern on the carpet that really got to you. Oh, okay. 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 Just let, let me know what's happening, okay? Oh. <laughs> do what you can do. <laughs> Wobble City, and I mean, yes. something like you'd been drinking too much. <laughs> yes, and I hadn't had anything, honest. <laughs> yeah, okay. As far as I'm concerned, if you have a brain injury, it will tend to heal, unless something is in the way. Now, if we had a physician here with their training, they may tell me I'm mm -hmm. full of beans, and maybe I am. Okay, that's just the approach that we're gonna, gonna yeah. take. Okay, so we're gonna look at emotional stuff. Sally and I then spent time with higher end uses of EFT to collapse many emotional issues that were keeping Sally's brain injury from healing normally. The details of that treatment are beyond the scope of this short video, but the results are plain to see. Note uh, that we monitored her brain waves while we were doing all this testing uh, as her freedom started to evolve. <laughs> Can you do a jumping jack? I don't know. Why don't you try it? Uh, will I knock anything over? <laughs> I haven't been able to do a jumping jack in 10 years. <laughs> no, no balance problems? I didn't fall down. <laughs> no, I can, I can tell it. What's going on? What's going on with the brain wave? Uh, just a lot of joy right now. <laughs> oh, okay. A lot this of energy. Is a, mm -hmm. This is exciting. Dr. Perkins and Dr. Juvan, watch this. You're going to be amazed. <laughs> I followed up with Sally four or five years later and all of her symptoms, including some light sensitivities and noise sensitivities that we didn't even mention in the videos, uh, also remain resolved, vanished. As I mentioned earlier, we use the same process for healing all injuries. That's part of our new think as we have found repeatedly that unresolved emotions involving guilt, anger, fear, resentment, worry, doubt, etc., and all those things or emotions that we collect over our lifetimes can literally stop normal healing from happening. I don't think you'll find that in any of the conventional healing books, but I have often seen injuries of all kinds healed in around half of the expected time.